Welcome back guys, I'm Slice Bread, Man United expert, football historian and connoisseur. So today I want to discuss something about Ralph Ragnick. Now a lot of people have been critical of Ralph Ragnick because of the results, but I want to talk about how Manchester United are showing promise in spite of the bad results. You cannot undo two or three years of shitty management and coaching. You can't just undo that in a few months. So these habits that Manchester United have got into, the lack of pressing, the individuality, these are not things that can be undone overnight. However, despite the fact that the results under Ragnick are not particularly good, whilst the results under Ragnick are less than impressive, there are some other elements that I believe look quite promising. Now, I'll explain what I mean by this. Now, what I wasn't very happy about was the fact that Ragnick has proceeded to loan Donny van der Beek and he's loaned out Anthony Martial. I've been very vocal about how unhappy I was with those moves. I thought that Ragnick was going to be someone who would appreciate those players and like those players. So I'm going to say right off the bat that I didn't like the fact that he did those things. However, I must admit, in terms of the formational changes, going to a 4-3-3, trying to get Fred playing higher up in a box-to-box -box role, trying to play McTominay as a defensive midfielder, those are a lot of things that I think are positive for the club. I think the reason why we're getting bad results is because of the mentality. This is something that has been bred into Manchester United after Sir Alex Ferguson left. It was almost like after Moyes and Van Gaal both failed to do the job and then Mourinho as a winning coach comes in and fails as well. I think since then we've been on a bit of a downhill slide because we've had this belief that we weren't going to win anything. However, you look at Ralph Ragnick, he's trying to slowly change that. And one of the first things that he's done that I've been impressed with is dropping players who are underperforming. Now, he's not always making the changes that I personally would make or that I like, but you can't agree with someone on everything. Ultimately, the fact that he's dropped Ronaldo in certain games and the fact that against Watford he dropped Harry Maguire, I think that's very promising and it's very telling about the sort of manager that Ragnick is. He's not someone that's trying to win fans over fans of these certain players and he's certainly not trying to make friends with the dressing room and that's not what managers should be doing they should be establishing an authoritative presence in there and this is what Ralph Ragnick is doing and I feel quite comfortable with him at the reins knowing that he'll be in a consultancy role at Manchester United I firmly believe that with Ralph Ragnick in a consultancy role we'll pick another manager in the same mould someone who's got a very specific idea of what he wants done and someone who will not accept anything short of the standards that he sets this is something that Manchester United have been missing ever since Ferguson. We've had managers that will just pander to certain star players. For example, David Moyes and Louis van Gaal, I felt both pandered a lot to Wayne Rooney. Louis van Gaal then also pandered to Robin van Persie. Jose Mourinho pandered to any good player that he had signed to the club and shafted all the other players that were at the club prior to that. See examples of Pogba, Ibrahimovic, Lukaku, Sanchez. I mean, Sanchez was shite for the entire time that he was at United. But all of those other players, Lukaku, Pogba, Ibrahimovic, they all had times where they were playing awfully. Fans have this nostalgia about Ibrahimovic at the club. There was times where he had droughts of over 10 games and he was still getting played every week. And it's the same with Lukaku. But this is something that I think is really promising as far as Ralph Ragnick dropping, being willing to drop Maguire, who's the club captain, and then also dropping Cristiano Ronaldo, who is untouchable as far as criticism goes. Whenever you criticise Cristiano Ronaldo, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you criticise him. However, if you look at how we were doing last year in the league without Ronaldo to how we're doing with him, the difference he's made is quite telling and it's not a positive one. You can say all you like about the rest of the team being responsible. The reality is, is that without him there, we didn't have the ego and we had other players who were scoring goals. We had other players who actually believed in their ability, whereas now... Everyone is supposed to be playing second fiddle to Ronaldo. Look at the amount of goals Bruno Fernandes got before this season. Look at the amount of goals that Edinson Cavani got before this season. These players are being made to pander to this guy who isn't even doing that good. And because he's won us a few Champions League games against mediocre opposition, we're like, oh yeah, Ronaldo's the answer to everything. If you, if you diss Ronaldo, you're a fucking idiot, mate. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know football. But the reality is, I do know football. And I said, I said before we sign Ronaldo, signing him would be a mistake. Because of this exact reason. Look at, look at everywhere he's been. At Real Madrid, look how well Benzema's done since Ronaldo left. Benzema was a second-rate European forward prior to Ronaldo leaving Real Madrid. Because he was always changing his game 
linking up the play so that Ronaldo could be the main man. So no one ever rated Benzema as high as they should have done. Look at Dybala at Juventus. Dybala at Juventus, before Ronaldo came, he was tipped to be one of the best players in the world. He was better than Neymar at the time, he was better than Griezmann at the time. People were putting him behind Ronaldo and Messi as someone who was going to go and win the Ballon d'Or in a year or two. Look at him now, shadow of himself. Don't get me wrong, if you're winning four Champions League on the bounce, you're not going to care that one player in that team isn't performing to their very best. So I'm not saying that those teams shouldn't have done that with Ronaldo. But this team right here that's finishing fourth, well, may not even finish fourth and isn't winning any fucking trophies, this team should not be relying on a 37-year-old who is off form. It just shouldn't. So I rate Ralph Ragnick for having the balls to actually stand up to Ronaldo and to drop Harry Maguire. I also rate him for changing the formation and being ballsy enough to play just one defensive midfielder in front of the back four. Despite the fact it's led to some bad results under his tenure, it exposes the fact that the back four is the problem. We've got decent midfield players. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think McTominay or Fred are necessarily good enough for United, and Matic is too old now, so we may need a new defensive midfielder to play behind any two of Pogba, Van der Beek and Fernandes. However, it's encouraging that we've now taken the move to that formation because I've said many times the 4-3-3 is the best formation in football under the current tactics in which managers play. The attacking fullbacks, inverted wingers that go very central, 4-3-3 is the best formation to take advantage of those sort of tactical tendencies. It is the best formation because it's all about possession, it's all about attacking, it's all about those little triangles. So I think in those respects, Ragnick's got us playing some good football. He's dropped some players that have been underperforming. He's letting everyone know that coasting along ain't going to fly no more. Not afraid to drop Pogba. Not afraid to drop Ronaldo. Not afraid to drop Maguire. Not been afraid to drop Shaw or wan either. Despite the fact we're having some shitty results, we're actually moving in the right direction. And I wouldn't be surprised in the next three years, mark my words, Man United could win a league title in the next three years. Because if we appoint Eriksen Haag with Ragnick in a consultancy role, there's players that are going to want to come to the club. And the coaching will be better. The players will start to play for the team. We won't have all these mavericks. We'll weed out Rashford. We'll weed out Pogba. We'll weed out all these players that don't really belong in a top Premier League side, to be honest. So Manchester United under Ralph Ragnick, whilst not immediately dazzling on the eye, and whilst not great on paper, are actually moving in the right direction. And you have to read very closely between the lines to see that. However, I do actually think that we've got a very legitimate chance of doing well in the Champions League. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Ralph Ragnick, yay or nay? How is he doing at Manchester United? Is his style of football going to change the way that Manchester United are doing in terms of world football? Who should take over Manchester United in the summer? As always, please smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I am doing a watch along for the Manchester Derby on Saturday, so please join me for that as well. My Patreon is also in the link in the description if you want to become a patron also. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you later.